Brad Dan and Johnson here, and I'd like to start this video off by saying, I'm a weirdo. Yeah, yeah, you heard it here first. I'm a weirdo. I have the ability to not only eat the same foods over and over and over again every day, I can actually eat the same meal over and over again every day. For the last two, three weeks, I've eaten vegetable soup with diced chicken breast with um, sweet potatoes all mashed up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner over and over again. Because I have, well, I can only define this, perfect food discipline. I don't need to, to vary my foods at all. Regular people, on the other hand, do. And this is a brilliant trick. That's not even a trick. This is common sense, really, for being able to do that. Once you've worked out your calories and you get them working on a diet that say you eat the same thing every day, morning you have this, oh, this level amount of oats, this amount of tuna, this amount of egg whites, and then lunch you have this amount of gr grilled chicken with this amount of halloumi, with this amount of walnuts, with this amount of salad, and then post-workout, pre-workout you have this amount of protein shake, and then post-workout you have this uh, amount of, gr of orange juice with this amount of protein shake, and then dinner you have etc, etc. You have that exact thing you do it every single day, yeah? Once you have that, right, and you start working, you're losing weight, but you get to the point you're like, oh, this is getting boring. I mean the same thing over and over it's getting a bit difficult. What you should do is plan ahead, think ahead, and make diet days. And what you, the diet day is, is a day where you have the exact same food as your regular diet for the exact same macros, but just make it out of different foods. So instead of oats in the morning, you may have some brown rice. You know, mix it up. Instead of egg whites, maybe you should have more tuna. Maybe instead of tuna, maybe you should have some more chicken. I mean, instead of uh, tuna, maybe you should have some salmon. Instead of salmon, maybe you should have some lean uh, red meat. Maybe instead of red meat, you should have some more chicken. Whatever. Just make another day where you eat the exact same things, the exact same macros. You can even eat out. Like, you can even do the same thing. Like, with a little bit of uh, research, check the numbers at McDonald's. You can even have a day where you just, you know, you have a Big Mac for dinner. Just work your macros so that it doesn't throw your numbers off. Um, this will help you stick to your diet. It will give you the illusion, the impression, that you're eating uh, in a less regimented way and you won't feel so so strict and so knuckled down. Also, it may get some people off your back because people will see you eating the same thing over and over again and they'll do this. Once they see you start, you know, very mixing it up, they might be a bit like, oh, okay, cool, cool, he's getting, he's getting that. Because, you know, people will tell you things like, don't eat the same thing every day, that's bad for you. Because as soon as you start dieting, everyone becomes a nutritionist. Like, they get qualified that day. Right, it's a, it's a strange phenomenon. It's, it's it's been proven though. The second you start dieting, all your immediate family and friends become qualified nutritionists that day. So you'll experience this as you start. So mix up your days, plan ahead a little bit, create some meal plans, create another meal plan, and create another meal plan. Maybe you have three or four of them, and throughout the week you can just alternate them. Throughout the week, alternate them. So today is my more. Uh, sweet potato oriented day. Tomorrow will be my more brown rice oriented day. So the next day after that, that's the day where I eat so much chicken, it's crazy. The day after that is my vegetarian day. I don't eat any uh, meat, don't eat any chicken. Like, you can do whatever. Just mix it up. As long as you keep hitting the same macros, as long as you keep hitting the same numbers, you make sure you're getting all those important healthy fats, you're getting all those important uh, proteins, those complete proteins as much as you can, and you're getting some healthy, slow digesting carbs, then you're good. Uh, so yeah, that's my little bit of advice for you, a little bit of a trick to keep you in the game with this whole dieting thing. So, Bradley Johnson at gmail.com. If you've got any queries or theories or suggestions or anything you want to know, let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, subscribe. Peace!